I uh, quoted the figure 95%, but who knows what it really is. <clears throat> the thing it is that um, we evolved for hundreds of thousands of years before language existed, right? And our earliest ancestors depended on the group for their survival and getting along. And their powers came from observing other people and their body language. You could read it. So it's a skill that's wired into us, wired into our brains. It's a very unique skill that we humans have. It's just that you don't learn that. When you're a child, when you're two years old, you have it because your life depends on it. You, you have to see what if your mother is, is loving you or, is, or your father is kind to you. Because if not, you know, you could be abandoned. Your life depends on it. You're great at reading that. And children have a, are incredibly adept at picking up body language. So if someone is fake, if someone's an imposter, they hate being around children because children see through you, you know, like, you know, like radar, right? Because they're so attuned to it. You had that skill when you were very young, but you lost it because you became so oriented with words and you became so self-absorbed that you're not paying attention. But it's extremely important, right? So the whole body is involved in it. So you've got to first stop thinking about people's words so much. Because the one thing about words, unfortunately, is people can lie. They can say whatever they want. They can say, I love your screenplay. That was fantastic. You were great in that movie. I thought you were great, et cetera, et cetera. They can say anything to please, to flatter, to cajole you. 